pom 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 Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starboard and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Crabominal in new Pokemon Brick Bronze updates. It's not actually as simple as just catching a Pokemon and evolving it. You actually have to do something to actually evolve this really awesome Pokemon. And uh, yeah, it is a Gen 7 Pokemon and it is pretty good actually. I can imagine a couple of people will be using this in PvP. Uh, before we get into the video guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Pokemon Brick Bronze giveaways, guides, videos, glitches, all that kind of cool stuff, turn on notifications guys. Uh, okay, so here we are today in Port Deca, and uh, well actually, we're not in Port Deca, we're actually in the, we're in the, uh, what you call this, this is called the Lost Islands, that's where we need to go guys. Uh, so here I'm, I'm in Lost Islands, and we're just gonna kind of follow exactly where I go guys, we're just gonna go up here, and we need to go to part 2, you know that new place that's just been done, uh, I think it's the jungle area of Port Deca, or the Lost Islands even. Uh, sorry about the uh, the the encounters guys don't worry about it though. It's all good. We're all good here and uh, Yeah, guys this Pokemon's pretty good I genuinely thought that you just had to evolve it, but apparently not and uh, thank you to my good friend uh, Super monkey for actually telling me about this otherwise I wouldn't have known about it and uh, yeah I wouldn't have been able to make this guide so thank you very much monkey. You're an awesome dude um, Okay, so here we are right now guys in the lost islands and this is the uh, Deep jungle and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into any part of the grass that you would like And we're just gonna run up and down until we find a certain Pokemon and no it isn't a dupe hider uh, So let's kind of run away from that and uh, yeah I will try and get this Pokemon as soon as I can guys. So let's try and do it right now now, come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Why? Why? This is like my 79th encounter without finding this Pokemon. Is it like the rarest thing in this route or something? What's going on? What is going on? If it's not the one after here, then I will have to skip the video, guys. And uh, yeah, I really didn't want to do that, but it looks like this Pokemon may just be the rarest thing on this route because I've encountered so many Pokemon and it's not even that. No, it's a Bond Suite. Again, the cute little fatty thing. Jesus. Well, guys, don't worry about it because just like Art Attack, I don't know if you guys seen that show in the UK or in America, uh, but just earlier on, I actually caught one and it is a Crabawler. So there you go. There is the Pokemon that we actually need. And wow, it's, it's actually got a special attack. That's pretty good, but the speed's pretty bad. Uh, well, this is the Pokemon that we need, guys. And uh, as you can see, it is a fighting type Pokemon. It's kind of like a crab. And uh, once we have this Pokemon, what we're then going to do, guys, is go to Fly. And we're going to go to Frostvale City. And I am very sorry that I couldn't get it live on the actual game itself. That's a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, okay, so once we're in Frostvale, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go down this way to the old roots. So just kind of uh, pop down here, pop down here, and uh, keep on going, keep on going, guys. That's what we got to do. And uh, yeah, eventually we will be on to the next route. Okay, so this is the route that I'm talking about, guys. And uh, yeah, we're just going to... Wow, the tree got in my way. Why tree? Why do you hate me so much? This game's not liking me lately. I swear to God, guys. It just hates me. It hates me. Uh, well, anyway, I'm pretty sure that most of you guys are guessing already what we have to do to counter this Pokemon. And uh, basically, we need to go to the Ice Stone. And uh, that's where we're going right now. It's it's right in this route for those of you who don't know. It's very uh, different from all of the other stones in the route, actually. It's it's very blue, icy looking. Uh, you know, typically what an ice stone would look like, I guess. Um, but yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, we need to have it either as our main Pokemon. There's Raid. He's dancing. He's dancing like crazy. Uh, but what we're going to do is we need to have it as our main Pokemon. Or if you have EXP share, have EXP share enabled. Uh, so what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm just going to check that I don't have any uh, rare candies because that would make it so much easier if I did just have a rare candy. Is it rare candy in medicine? Okay, I have a rare candy. That's pretty awesome actually. Uh, so what we're going to do, if you have a rare candy, you can either use that to make it quicker guys or, you know, you can just level it up in this area. So what we're going to do is go into the snow right here. I'm going to go into menu, bag. I'm going to go to rare candy. 
use, and then use it on Crabawler. And uh, there you go, Crabawler grew to level 32, and then says what? Crabawler is evolving, and yeah guys, that's pretty much it. That is how we get this very awesome Pokemon, which is a Crabomable, 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 that's hard to say, Crabomable, let's see, yeah, Crabomable. Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, it's a pretty awesome Pokemon, guys. It is an Ice-type fighting, I do believe. We will check it out in just a second. Uh, and there you go. It actually wants to learn Ice Punch. Let's do that. Let's do it for, uh, huh, let's do it for Bubble Beam, I guess. Yeah, let's do it for that. There you go. Um, I'm not really going to use it for PvP as I don't do much PvP anyway, but you know, a lot of people will find this Pokemon pretty awesome to use. And I can imagine a lot of people will be using this uh, in, the, in the next couple of days to come. Uh, so there you go guys, it's a fighting slash ice type Pokemon. Um, and it looks pretty good, it's, it's, it's not that bad honestly. Like a lot of people have told me it's pretty good in PvP. A lot of people used it when Pokemon Sun and Moon came out for PvP and they were pretty successful with actually battling with it. So yeah, uh, well anyway guys, that has pretty much been it for today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you do, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, have an awesome day and tell me in the comment section below if you are gonna be using this Pokemon in PvP. Uh, but yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.